Hey everybody, we're gonna check out Plex together this in this video, so Plex Together version 1 is out, so let's check it out. What is Plex Together? Let's find out. So Plex Together is a tool to sync Plex content across multiple players in multiple locations. Using Vue.js and playback, Plex Together has been rewritten and brought to the browser. While we run a live version available at PlexTogether.com, the project can be built and deployed completely separate from PlexTogether.com. We also provide a handful of Plex Together server instances that everybody is free to use. How it works Plex Together aims to keep multiple viewing sessions in sync regardless of whether the clients are in the same room or across the globe. To do this, Plex Together utilizes a middleman server to communicate between each of the Plex Together clients. Users choose their Plex client, decide on a Plex Together server and room name and join up. Your friends slash family can do the same. Whoever joins the room first will be the host. The host has complete control over a room. Commands they send to the client will be sent through other people in the room. If the host starts playing something different, Plex Together will search all your available Plex media servers for an equivalent copy if it is not from the same Plex server as the host. So let's look at the features. Syncing between Plex clients over the internet, syncing to tune Plex together to your environment, client, so let's skip all that technical part, autoplay, metadata fetching from Plex media server, chat to others in the room, password lock rooms, movies and TV shows. So let's actually see what it's all about. Let's go to plextogether.com. Okay. Okay, let's launch it. You need to sign into Plex. This uh, password will become, will become big nine by the time you see it. So, so don't worry about me. Account's been linked. Now. Now what? Okay. This is the first time I'm doing this, so. Choose a client from the list below. Once you have found the client you would like to use, click the connect button below. Flex to your little test. See if it can connect with the client and we'll let you know if it cannot. So there is a list of things I could use. Let me see. I can use a Plex Media Player, but I don't think I have a Plex Media Player. I'll, I'll download the Plex Media Player. All I have is the Windows 10 app, and I don't think that's supported. Um, there's, a, there's a list of things that were supported somewhere to here. Yes, it's like uh, it's here and untested Windows 10 app. So I'm going to download the Plex Media Player app. Just go to plex.tv. Downloads. Uh, I want to download. Uh, how do you download? No, Plex Media Server. No, I don't want to download Plex Media Server. Let's click on Map. And uh, I have the Plex Pass version on. So if you don't have it, it will be off by default. So I'll just download the Plex Pass version. It will make a difference. So I'm going to download the 64 bit version. Click on that. We just save it somewhere I can find it. I'll, I'm gonna let this play through and come back after it's been downloaded. Okay, now that's done, so let's go ahead and install it. Installing it, okay. Uh, options. That all looks good. Okay, install. Sure. If this part takes a long time, I'll, I'm gonna skip ahead here also. Okay. Okay, installing. Installing. 
finish that was quick so we're gonna hit launch close this I think I clicked it twice so we're gonna cancel that install cancel it I'm gonna enter the guest in and I want to show you my password and my pin but I don't know why why anything would happen if I show you my pin okay let's minimize this thing okay that's so let's go back and I'm gonna uh, reload this thing okay maybe maybe I'll show you my new Plex media player this one yeah this is the new one oh, it's over there just connect it's time to join a server and then a room decide with your friends what server and room to join and then click the join room button if you're hosting your own server make sure you choose a custom server it's time to join a Plex together server you can choose to join a server hosted by Plex together or you can host your own to see Plex Together server, Plex Together AU1, Plex Together US1, and uh, now what? Room name, room name. Well, I'm gonna put the room name uh, TT105. That's TT105. That's that's a classic. My password is gonna be one. The number one. Always use a secure password like the number one. Nobody's gonna guess that. Can I hit it? I need two people to make sure that it works. And for that, I need another computer. I don't have another computer. Let me just uh, start out by playing something and let's see if anything here happens. I'm gonna click on I wanna enter mine. If I enter my, I'm gonna blur out my password. I think it's gonna automatically get blurred out. So, oh. so, <coughs> so I'm gonna play some content here. Uh, I don't think anybody cares about NG Trebekta Pilot. Let's play that, and let's see if it's updated here. Look at that. It's now NG Trebekta. And you can see the timestamp changing. Yes. Okay. Now it's possible. That's super cool. We got your metadata coming here. You got your server name. That's also super cool. Let me let me try playing it from a different person. I want to see if that works. I'm gonna go you know, switch user. Switch user. I'm gonna go ahead and select guest. I'm gonna play pointless celebrities. I am absolutely sure nobody cares about pointless celebrities. So let me click on that playing and let's see if that worked too. That's awesome. My other computer. Ah, this. I'm gonna VNC into my other computer. And I'm gonna install. Gonna install the Plex player here too. Install it. Same as before. Looks good. Install that. Installing. I'm gonna launch it. So I need to launch Plex. I need to open up Edge launch probably have to sign in again launch cool now that's done I want to select Windows server that's the one here I'm gonna connect that join the room what is the name of the room again let me select the server it was US one I believe that's the one I took now Wait for it to come. TT105. TT105. Password. The number one. The most secure password there is. And let's see what happens. You're gonna put that to the side. Put this one to the side. And. Okay, good. So when, once I play it here, hopefully it should stop playing over there. Right, it's playing over there too. 
because I'm running it on a VNC, it won't load, won't be that fast. But it's in in actuality, it's playing at the same time. It's just because uh, of VNC, there's a delay. So I think I think I showed you. You can log in. Another person can log into their computer. The host, the host just needs to play it. The other guy needs to have Plex Player. Just go to the Plex Together website, open it on the same server and the same room. Click, type in the password, and you're good to go. Now the host starts playing. Now the host and the other guy plays the same content at the same time. Hope this video was useful and uh, today subscribe to my channel like the video if you liked it watch other videos on my channel keep being awesome